everyone. Welcome to ASAP's Vlog series. My name is Marie Herman. I lead study groups to prepare students for the Certified Administrative Professional, Google G Suite, and Microsoft Office Specialist Certifications. I also teach technology and career development programs to office professionals. Today, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you on how to utilize OneNote with Microsoft Outlook. OneNote is a fabulous program. It comes free with Microsoft Office, but a lot of people have never even heard of it and they've never explored it. And while it has a ton of useful features that I strongly encourage you to explore, I'm going to take the next 10 minutes or so to show you a few of the ways that it's integrated with Microsoft Outlook in particular. So let's get started. I've created a simple uh, OneNote notebook for ASAP here. And in this case, all I need to do to create something new is start typing. But I want to show you how it's integrated with Outlook. So here's one example. On the home ribbon in OneNote 2016 in particular is what I'm demonstrating in here. Uh, there's an, a drop down for Outlook tasks. I can select from this and I can choose tomorrow as the flag, for example. And then I can type in what I want to do. I want to mail a box to the boss. Next to that flag, I can put in additional information, like where I'm going to be mailing that package to. So mail package to Ms. Big Bossy, 123 Main Street, anywhere, Illinois, 60601. If I go over to Outlook now and I go into my tasks, you'll see it's actually already there. Mail the package to is showing up there and there's a link to the OneNote that will take me directly to the information. So that is built in within OneNote that when you create an Outlook task in your OneNote notebook, which by the way, you could share with other people. So for example, I could have a holiday party committee and I am planning to organize this holiday party. I could create a OneNote notebook to keep track of all that information in one place. I might include inside my OneNote notebook, the Word documents that are, uh, maybe we use to create the flyers, the Excel spreadsheet that we use to create the budget, the PowerPoint presentation that we gave to the management of the company to convince them to let us host a holiday party for everyone, the PDFs that the caterers sent over of their catering menus that we need to make decisions on for the food, and pictures that I clipped from websites of ideas for decorating that I want to put in with our theme this year for our party. So all of that could get organized in one OneNote notebook, and then that notebook could be shared with others outside of the committee or inside the committee, however I want to set that up. So that's one of the really nice things available to me with that. And I can use this feature to assign tasks to people. And if I wanted to, I can go into that Outlook task and delegate it to someone. I have all that functionality of Outlook built in right there. What else can I do? Well, let's say that I want to create a new page and I'm going to have this holiday party planning committee. So holiday party planning committee. Um, and maybe here I'm going to be keeping track of what's going on with it. So the very first thing that I might choose to do would be to create a meeting so that we can get together and discuss how we're going to handle that holiday party. I can go into my calendar and add the meeting. I'm going to put one in here for holiday party planning committee. And then I can double click to open it. And this is a regular meeting. So for instance, I could include attendees. I'm going to put in my little advertising here. I could include a file maybe that I want people to review prior to that meeting. Let's say I have an errand list, for example, of things we need to do prior to this meeting or prior to the party. I can write notes in here. Uh, let's get together, discuss this party and how we are going to handle it this year. 
please come prepared with ideas for themes. And then I can send off, <coughs> excuse me, send off this meeting. <coughs> excuse me, I had to get a drink of water. If I go back to my OneNote notebook, I have an option here to insert the meeting details. Here on my calendar is that meeting for the Holiday Party Planning Committee. Now, if this isn't the one I wanted, I can choose a meeting from another day. So I could click on that and I could switch and pick another day's appointments instead. But I want this one, the Holiday Party Planning Committee, so I can insert the details. That puts the contents of that appointment into my OneNote notebook. So here's the meeting subject, Holiday Party Planning Committee. Here's the meeting date, April 14th, 4 o'clock. Here's the link to the Outlook item. If I click here, it's going to open up that meeting notice within Outlook directly. Here is the invitation message. Let's get together to discuss this party. So that is included within this text. I also can have the errand list. This is actually attached directly into the appointment. Now, if I go in and I delete it from my appointment, let's say I open this up, I can remove this attachment, send an update. It's now removed from the Outlook, but in my OneNote notebook, it still is available. So it's independent of that Outlook appointment. I can see the participants. So I have my name and the individual I invited. And then down at the bottom, I have a place for notes. And so here I could write something in like, I want to um, schedule first meeting, set up subcommittees, appoint <laughs> committee chairs, select a theme, brainstorm decorating ideas, and select a caterer. So those are all the notes that I want to have for this first meeting for what I want to accomplish. And so I can take all of that information. It's available here. It's now well organized. I can put all the notes together from everything I gather related to the holiday party planning committee, and I could have it all available within my notebook. If I wanted to share this list with someone else, I can email this page to someone else. And that will fill in the information for, in this case, the committee members, because they were already in there. But this is a regular email. I could add or remove other email addresses if I wanted to. It includes the attachment, but if I didn't want to include the attachment, I could just remove it here. And then it has all the information that I was interested in with the information about the meeting and then notes for the meeting. And I can then send that on to the individuals. I'm going to go ahead and not save this particular one, but you can see how easy that is to email a page directly to someone else and have them be able to work with um, all your notes and everyone's literally on the same page in that notebook. So if I wanted to take this one step farther, I can share this notebook with the members of the Holiday Party Planning Committee. I just click on that file menu and then on the info tab, I go to the name of my individual OneNote notebook, which in this case is ASAP, and I would invite people to this notebook. And so that would then uh, allow me to send out invitations to other people and have them allowed to give input on that notebook. And I can choose to limit what they can see as well. So I could have people uh, just get a link, for instance, to a particular section instead of to the entire document. There's a lot of ways that you can utilize Notebook in a secure way to make sure that everybody has the information that they need and that they're able to work together on these important projects. So that's just one small, small taste of OneNote and how you can integrate it with Microsoft Outlook 
and work much more efficiently. I encourage you to explore OneNote, see what it has to offer. I think you're going to be impressed with what all it can do and how well it's integrated with Microsoft Office. So thank you for joining me for this particular presentation. I hope you have found it helpful. My name is Marie Herman, and I want to thank ASAP for inviting me to participate in their vlog series. Thanks, everyone.